We're red fishing today in Venice, Louisiana. Okay, we're back in a different outfit. That's a good one. I thought you really did end up having one. Ooh, the sun's coming out. What? Oh. That's perfect. That's what it's catching in Bull Ridge. Yeah, just keep popping it. And really, okay. Recasting. If y'all want some casting tips from me, and how I like to cast, let me know. Like this video and leave a comment below. Because I got some tips for you if you want to hear them. But we'll save those for another video. Get a new shrimp, and then you just do it all over again. We like to keep the... Throw it back in this pocket over here. The one right here. Okay. So if you come fishing here, more, most likely you'll be doing what I'm doing right now. If you're going for inshore redfish. So, you want to be pretty good at casting. If you're not, Captain Lewis will help you. But you want to be pretty good at casting because you got to get your bait right up on the grass, but not in the grass. Because if you get in the grass, you get stuck. So you want to keep your bait right up by the grass, because the redfish like to hang out in that grass there. And then, if you don't get it close enough to the grass, that's where all the trash fish hang out. Like the catfish and stuff, the ladyfish. And you don't want to really catch those. I mean, unless it's on your bucket list and you want to catch a catfish, but most likely it's not on your bucket list. So we like to keep them up towards the grass. Shrimp antenna on my leg. Okay, so you want me to cast up in that pocket? Yes, ma'am. Or a little bit over that way. Straight in front of me? Mm-hmm. Good job. The cork's tangled up. Right when you said that, this is a pretty good one too. Good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's the best. We should loosen up the drag so we can get some TV drag. Nice redfish. Let's see. Let nice him swim. one. Oh, he's spicy too. Oh, it's such a nice one! He's not ready. He's not ready. Wow, look at that fish. Come here. Look at his tail. Come here. Oh my gosh, look at the video. Get him up real close. 31. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's get a picture. That's a beautiful Don't let him fish. Flip over, all right, Jeff? Okay. Tip. That's the picture side. If you want to take a picture of the fish, don't let the beautiful lit up side touch the deck because if you do, then it will go all, you know, 
unlit up and right. it will get all gray and, and dead looking. That's just a little tip for, you know, taking some pictures. Oh, it looks good. This one is so pretty. He's like, he's orange. That's good like that. Just leave it right there. We don't want to, um... Try to hold him up for the video, pass him in front of the camera. No, 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 no! <laughs> well... It happens to the best of us, you know? You never know. He was a feisty one and he's still... He's still being feisty. Get up on the front. Okay, so I think this is fish number four, and we are one fish away from our limit, but I'm having a great time. Honestly, I don't care how fast we get our limit, even though we could get our limit super fast. But today, I'm just having fun on this beautiful day in December. Look at those beautiful fish. It's a beautiful day. We got some beautiful fish. We're gonna go home and clean them. One more? Yeah, let's get one more. It's alright. <laughs> that is my favorite one. This is a big one too. I'm gonna lose some drag. Alright. Oh, you let it loose. <laughs> That's alright. Perfect spot. Perfect spot. Keep that pole down. Whipping it. Make sure he's on, he's on good, and then we'll get him. Come on, what happened? I'm alive. It's a small one, I bet. Keep her size. Look at the spots. Swing him in. Oh, he's too small. Yeah, he's too small. Oh, good spots. job on the hook release. On the release. Okay, this one's too small, but he's got some really cool spots on him. Four spots on this side, and two spots on that side. He's a cool little guy. Do you think he'll lose any of his spots as he gets bigger? Mm -mm. No, he's keep them and just get bigger. And he swam away. Okay, one more. That's what they all say. That's cats. One more cats. One more crawfish. Did my shrimp fall off? No. Oh. No. I had one just now. Hurry up, rebate. One dollar. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> so we hear a lot of fish jumping right now. They're not redfish. Because redfish don't jump. Right? They don't jump. They don't jump. Which I just learned the other It was something small and oh, oh no. Oh. Get him. <laughs> something small too. <laughs> it was chasing it. I'm having so much fun right now. That's good. That's all you need. But you it don't it don't have enough room. It don't oh we know. We know. Oh 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 playing with it, playing with it. Oh <laughs> so the same little things playing with it. Over there.
grab some little nibbles. Little nibbles, just go for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> it's a keeper. Oh, it's a nice one. Get him in. And the fifth fish of Christmas. Fish starting to go out of the boat. Hey, I just smack them towards the middle. Okay. All right. All right, guys. We got our fifth fish in the boat. We're done for the day. We limited out on our redfish. So now I'm going to go home. I think I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad I finally got to get back out and do some fishing. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.